afternoon, my name is Dave Zolna. I'd like to take a few minutes if we could and talk about uh, a show that I saw recently uh, on Hannity. And Hannity had two guests that he had invited, and uh, one was Eric Foley, and the other one was uh, Kimberly Guilford. And uh, we all know who they are because they're co-hosts of The Five. What I found fascinating is that what they were debating and discussing is the $5 million that Donald Trump had offered uh, President Obama if President Obama were to release his records at Occidental and Harvard, which would be his admission records as, uh, along with his passport. Now, that will never happen, and the reason that it won't happen is obvious, because if it did, then Obama would probably find himself arrested and on trial for treason. And the reason that is is because it would show that he attended uh, based on uh, his Indonesian passport as a foreign exchange student, and it would also show uh, that uh, he uh, received admission to this country utilizing his Indonesia passport. Now, what I find amazing is that our government and our military and our congressmen and our senators allow this charade to continue. Uh, Obama was never vetted properly by Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi. He could not have been vetted properly because they had no documentation to vet him with. So uh, I think what has to happen is that both Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi have to be put on trial under oath. And I have to explain to the American people under oath uh, what they utilized for information to establish that Obama was eligible to be president. And that will never happen because if it were to happen, then Obama would just sign an executive order or execute executive privilege and it will all go away. We have less than nine days. America, please make the right decision. Select someone that can change the course and direction of this country. If it isn't changed, we're going to slip over the cliff and the country will never be the same ever again. Already it might never ever be the same again because it's virtually impossible to pay back $16 trillion dollars. I mean, it can't be done. You compound the interest on the interest on interest, it simply can't be done. In either case, uh, the only person that I think that might be able to try is Governor Romney, once he becomes President Romney. Please do the right thing. Please, let's change the direction of this country. Only you can do that. I can't alone. We all need to pull in the same direction, and we need to change the direction of this country to save it for our grandchildren. Thank you.